show you there is a blue aiming beam, as you can see here on the glove. And that blue aiming beam, which will dissipate in the mouth a little bit, is your guide to cutting. Diodes in general, the tips do not come out of the box ready to cut. You have to, what's called, initiate the tip. In order to initiate the tip, I'm going to fire the tip into a piece of articulating paper a number of times, just like that. I'm at six tenths of a watt, very, very low energy. And what happens now is that tip becomes dark. And that dark tip means it's ready to cut. You'll see if I step on the pedal that that tip has this nice glow to it now. And that tip is ready to cut. And what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the mouth and we're going to do some troughing to some anterior crown and bridge at low energy with the Blue Wave laser from Clinician's Choice. So we have some anterior crown and bridge here. And we're going to do some troughing with the Blue Wave. We're at six tenths of a watt now. Why we're at so low? Because we're in the front of the mouth and the anterior, we don't want any recession. I have some areas here that are a little bit red, almost like bleeding a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of tissue goo, which is Clinician's Choice product. It's a 25% aluminum sulfate gel. And I just want to absorb any of the bleeding because the diode, as we know, is absorbed by pigment and hemoglobin. And I just don't want to fight through any of the bleeding. So I'm going to leave it on just for a few seconds, let the aluminum sulfate do its thing. Suction please for me, open really big, and we're going to rinse it off, just making sure there's no bleeding going on. One clinical tip when using a diode is, even though this is ready to cut, if I hover over the soft tissue just for a few seconds before, then I'll be able to cut even more readily. So the diode needs to be in contact to cut. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to step on the pedal. I'm going to hover over the soft tissue for a few seconds. This is six tenths of a watt, minimal energy. And what you should see is that just immediately when I go in, it's now going to remove small amounts of soft tissue. Now, I don't need to remove a lot. I'm just looking to create some space for impression material. And I'm going to judge the soft tissue. If I feel it's cutting slow, I got plenty of leeway here to raise some energy. But as you can see, it's actually cutting pretty quickly at six tenths. And all I'm looking to do is create that minimally invasive trough. Now, I could use cord. I prefer not to. I could use cord, but I'm going to use my laser so I can have ideal margins and I can bring that margin down to the soft tissue wherever I want it to go. So you could see I've created a trough. We're not worried about the ragged tissue because that will clean up in a few seconds. I'm going to go on to the next tooth, turn to me a little bit, and once again, with a gentle stroke, trough that anterior. And you do not need a lot of energy for this. Six tenths of a watt is plenty if your hand speed is nice and slow, the Blue Wave is a very powerful soft tissue diode laser. If you do get a little bleeding, it means you have just an inflamed area, and it'll just stop in a few seconds, or of course we could use tissue goo if need be. Keep in mind that with diodes, the energy comes out the end of the tip, not the side of the tip. So you have to always point the tip in the direction that you want to remove the soft tissue. Now I do leave sometimes tissue on the tip to act as a heat sink, just so it'll cut a little bit faster. You see here I have an inflamed papilla. So all I'm going to do is angle that laser towards the papilla and just plane it down. Please suction here. Kind of thin that back a little bit.
You see I've done that. And even though the tissue looks like it's been troughed with a diode, you'll see very quickly if I clean things up, or when I clean things up, what the tissue is actually going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and clean things up a little bit with my burr and bring those margins to ideal position. So in order to clean this up, all you need to do is take a little um, Q-tip, if you will, or a ultra-dense skinny syringe with a tip. And this is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, and it'll just quickly clean that soft tissue right up. Very quickly cleans things up. We'll give this a rinse. Open a little bit. And now what I've done is I've dialed down my electric handpiece to 20,000 RPMs and all I'm gonna do is idealize the margin. Open really big for me. This is a fine diamond. With 20,000 RPMs, I have a lot of control, and now, I've, now I really, I really have I've idealized all these margins where I want them to be. We'll take an impression, and I'll show you the image after the impression. But you'll see that's how we can kind of have ideal tissue control using the blue wave.